Hi. Uh, just a quick one today. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind with my uh, with my series on the album. I am coming back to that, and the next one will be about how you make a, a sample library, uh, just a, a simple one. But um, I've seen lots of questions about Labs Plus and a few people emailing me, so I thought I'll just give you a quick naughty sneak peek um, so you can have a look at it so everyone knows what it is. So basically, new Labs plugin, it's a new tech stack. Um, it's uh, this is a pre-access period, so we're going to be developing the plugin, developing, you know, adding more content to it month by month. There's, I think we're, it's going to be three drops a month from September. We're doing a few little sneaky ones between now and then as well. Um, and basically, there's a ton of content in there. So there's already the kind of 35-ish gigabytes of, of uh, labs from the legacy labs, like 59 packs or however many, many that was. That's all free still. But there's also this optional extra bit, which is at the moment about 67 gigs, I think, of content. Um, but the main thing is it's like a core of really cool, uh, great, you know, super high quality sounds from the Spitfire catalog. Um, we're going to be adding more stuff from there as well, but we're also recording tons and tons of new stuff. So every month there'll be something really cool, fresh and new coming, uh, dropping into the Labs Plus membership. So that's the idea. That's how it works. Now, what is in there? Um, well, some of these things you'll recognize. Um, we're in the middle of doing all of the artwork and everything. So you'll see that some illustrations are in and some aren't yet. Um, but there's a bunch of stuff, some things you'll recognize from the Spitfire catalog. Um, uh, Epic Choir, for example. So this is the main uh, kind of window in which you see the controls, things that are going to be there. There's obviously all the all the effects and everything is behind the um, behind the panel so that as they're exposed by specific patches that use low pass filters and all that kind of stuff. One of the things we'll be looking for your feedback on is whether you want like a multi effects style thing at the bottom. Some people love that. Some people say it's a total pain. So uh, and they use their door, you know, or other plugins and stuff like that. So. All that kind of stuff is like our kind of methodology of being a constant work in progress um, of just responding to what people are asking for and then working through those requests. And that applies to content as well as the functionality in the plugin. So um, what have we got in that Epic Choir? Um, you can see that these are all of the different sounds that are in that actual pack. Um, and if I go, let's have a look at uh, something else. What have we got? So some of this stuff I've downloaded um, just in pre Actually, that's a good idea, right? Why don't I, so I'll pick something that's new that hasn't actually existed because there's a few things that we've um, put in there here which have never been released. Here is Intimate Woodwinds. You can see the description here. I can click download on either of these patches. You get this preparing while it's calling into the server to get the download prepped. And here are all the sounds in the pack. So for example, just load the main long. So you can see the controls that you've got here. There are three controls on this one, release, reverb, tightness. So, uh, and then we've got the usual kind of CC1 and CC11. And then you've got all of the other uh, sounds in here. So let's load up shorts. Tenuto, swells, we've got some, this really lovely hollow sound actually, I'll just go back here. So that's one example um, of a pack. We just go back to here to navigate through, have another little look down. Let's scroll right to the bottom. Let's find something 
cool down here, uh, Studio Woodwinds. So here are all the sounds that you get in the Studio Woodwinds. And the idea of this was really to have... Um, So those of you who know the studio woodwinds already, um, we're using a close mic for this. So then if you want it to sound more ambient, you can put your reverb on there, either by using the built-in reverb. Or, you know, uh, your, your favorite reverb plugin. There's some interesting new packs like Offbeat. So again, I click download, uh, preparing. That's coming down the pipe. And you can see uh, on the keyboard. Or this cool pack, which has got uh, sounds from Fink's library. Uh, let's have a look. So, for example, get the idea, you can whack a chorus on it. And there's some really cool stuff in here as well. I actually love the mmms. Beautiful stuff. So that gives you a very quick kind of sneak peek into, oh, you can also see what you've got downloaded uh, on your machine here. That's super easy. Um, there's also a link to the Discord channel. So um, getting chatting with the team that are making this and uh, get your ideas coming in. So that is Labs Plus pre-access, uh, just in its first infant steps at the moment, but I think you'll agree it's a cool collection of sounds. And I always thought that it would be brilliant to have this as a kind of, like the old JV1080s or Core Game ones or something like that, a kind of workstation with all the stuff that you need, like stuff from across the whole catalogue of sounds, stuff, but that is really, really high quality. Um, and then just constantly having sounds added to it every month, new drops, new stuff coming in, um, created by the team at Spitfire, but also by artists that we're working with. Um, we've got some really, really cool, exciting stuff lined up. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, people using it. And as it, as more people join the pre-access and, you know, um, and try it out. They're obviously, the existing uh, labs all free. Uh, a couple of things actually to mention there. So the, the 59 packs that were there before are still there and still free. Just a much better tech stack behind this plugin. So um, definitely an upgrading experience. Um, it has, I've opened sessions, we've tested it. It appears to be completely accurately backwardly compatible. Touch word. It definitely looks that way. Uh, it seems to be working so far. There's going to be a few small changes because we found some bugs. There might be a couple of patches that loaded ridiculously hot in, in some of the free packs, which we've fixed. So there will be a small changes like that, but basically it should just load your old, your old sessions. I don't prompt you to download anything that you haven't already downloaded. Um, if you need that in your old session, the other thing to mention is that if you want to try it out for a bit, if you subscribe for a bit while you're working on something, and then you want to cancel your subscription for a while and dip in and out of it, that's absolutely cool as well. Um, and your old sessions will continue to work. So uh, the only thing that will change with it was, will be that the UI will be locked off. So you won't be able to make new stuff, making new MIDI, all that kind of stuff, but it will play back all your sessions that you made while you were subscribed. So nothing to fear there as well. Um, yeah, 
exciting. It's just something completely new. We've been working on it for a long time. Um, so it's very exciting to see it out in the wild and um, look forward to hearing your music made with Labs Plus. <laughs>